Hello, welcome back to my playthrough and we are heading into round 9 of this no, round 10 I mean of this playthrough and we are gonna try to manage off these horrible beasts that are popping up everywhere so um, I'm I really fear that uh, we have to see Michael McLenn go this round, but we we will have to try. He has to destroy a creature, a monster, this round. And um, the way he's gonna do that, we're gonna start off with Michael. And he's first thing he's gonna do is move and he's gonna move one two and in the black cave there's a early guardian a massive star spawn waiting for him he's gonna ram into it with the old boiler oh. old boiler just healed one and old boiler already has two health on him. So after he performs a move action, you may deal do two damage to one monster you are engaged with and two damage to this card. Because this guardian will be engaged with Michael immediately. And it will get two hits and old boiler will have two hits. Okay. Let's see <laughs> how this is going to turn out. He's going to fight him and this monster currently has 6 health, minus 2 that's 4 health left. So the next action will be a fight action. And Michael is going to try to fight this beast. It's a minus two strength modifier, so it's four minus two, that's two dice. And he's gonna use his typewriter for what it's good for. To kill beasts, that leaves him six dice. And he has to have four successes. <laughs> Come on. And he gets only two successes so well that's two hits I don't have any rerolls to give him so that's uh, I think that's it for Michael if we don't do anything clever with Norman, Norman can't do anything. Ah. So, but at least he did manage to hurt him some. That was so terrible. Oh well, that's it for Michael. Let's head to Norman Withers and see what he can do. Okay, first thing Norman's gonna do is he's gonna try to research. Or shall we go to try to ward? Da -da 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 -da. No, he's going to do a research. Let's see. <clears throat> he's got four observation with his focus token, plus one for his magnifying glass, giving him five dice. And just about manages it. So he can put one clue on the scenario sheet and that will triggers the stars are right when there are three or more clues on the scenario sheet flip this card 
So, on edge from the madness that has gripped the city, you flip frantically through the pages of several perti per pertinent texts of on cosmic events that you brought with you from the observatory. One book in partic particular, one that you don't recall taking, catches your eye. Not for its content, but you struggle to read. But for the green glow and smell of salt water that now emanate from its pages. You add 31, card 31 to the codex, set aside uh, 32 to 35, and return this card to the archive. Okay. Let's see. Card 31. Lost City of Orlea. The book appears to be a journal of an old sea captain. It describes a city which the author calls the Lost City of Lea. Rising from the depths of the sea, its strange emerald streets and own expires spelling death and disaster. You become convinced that the Lea described in the journal and the emerald spires that have appeared in Arkham are one and the same. Action. You may spend two clues from the scenario sheet to find one of the locations where Arkham and Erlie are connected. If you do take one card at random from the set aside cards and attach it to its corresponding neighborhood deck, perform this action only at the observatory. Hmm. So you have to get to the observatory then. When there are four markers on the scenario sheet, if card 30 Eight is in the codex. Flip this card and read better late than never. Otherwise, flip this card and read to the Rivdox. <laughs> so we have to get some markers on this card, but then we need clues on the scenario sheet. And we do have three clues there now. Let's see. This is utterly terrible. Let's dig out card 32 to 35. 32, 33, 35, okay. So it looks like these cards correspond to the given city place, okay. We'll put these aside and we'll do as told. So, what else? What else? What else? Oh, I wish I I wish for a spell <laughs> that could I wish for a spell that could have hurt that beast. Okay, let's should I go to the observatory, perhaps? Um, if he does, he will be engaged with this ocean scion. So that's not a good idea, I reckon. Hmm. <laughs> Things are starting to look kind of bleak, ladies and gentlemen. I think we will go down really, really fast. <clears throat> he does, however, have a lot of remnants. So what he can do, he will go one into the river docks, and that will be his current action. That's the action phase, now for the monster phase. And in the monster phase we do have each ready monster activates, usually by moving. So we can start off with that massive servitor of the Relier. It's a lurker and each investigator suffers one horror. That means uh, Norman will have one and Michael will go nuts. He will be crazy because he's he's already suffered three horror. Didn't manage to kill off the monster here for mitigating one more, so he will just be a babbling crazy fool from now on. Sorry to say, we did lose another investigator. <laughs> oh yes. Everything he owns will be returned to the box. 
that's it for our face puncher we say good job Michael but it didn't last for long now um, the rule states that I have to put a doom onto the scenario sheet so we are on five doom now and yep that's it for that one and we do have the ocean cyan uh, saying move towards most doom engage lowest influence character now it's already in a space with two so we could rule it that it doesn't move because the, this space has two the Orn library has two and the science building I can zoom out a bit for you and the Orn, Orn library and the science building has two as you see here so I could just rule it that it doesn't move Let's set aside this <clears throat> so it will be, be staying where it is now for the other monster the Rlia Guardian it's here and it's exhausted oh, it can't be exhausted sorry it's massive <laughs> so it's ready up and does have four hits on it but it says patrol move patrol move towards most doom so I'm gonna rule it that it stays but yes I'm gonna be staying there until we get another face puncher with a great gun that's it for the monsters and let's go to the encounter phase the only encounter that will happen is with Norman He's still in the merchant district and he's in the river docks. Yes, it's a clue. You sit on a bench in the fog, listening to the whispered conversation of the unseen Innsmouth sailors while you wait for your buyer to arrive. You gain one clue from your neighborhood. Thank you. Uh, 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 uh. Eventually, your buyer shows you may spend one remnant to gain gain three dollars hmm yes it gives him a remnant and gets three dollars now this will be discarded next new and stable place is the unvisited isle hmm. of course it is <laughs> Okay, now for the missile space. And Norman looks out. Doom. And okay, first. <laughs> okay, let's start by spreading some doom, and it's in the merchant district and it goes into the river docks hmm. where he is currently at next will be a gate burst and as the rule says we take the front card Ooh, and it's north side north side each space will get a doom we have Doom all over now. Two in the Arkham Advertiser. We do take this and the discard pile. We're gonna shuffle it together and put it in the back. Here you go. So that's it for round 10. And we did lose another investigator because of this guardian. Uh, this is looking a bit grim. Oh, remove this. 
So, I will be digging through and try to find another investigator to join us on this misadventure. And uh, we'll be seeing you in round 11. In round 11, we're gonna dig out Tommy Muldoon that will be trying to help us to get rid of this evil which are rampaging all over Arkham. His starting gear is Becky and two dollars. Let's dig out two dollars and let's find Becky. Here's Becky for you. Uh, Becky is an item weapon. Let's move the light a bit. And gives him plus four as part of an attack action. It actually has health and sanity. It's a two-hander. So he starts with that. Uh, he's gonna be needing that really soon. And now we can choose from. Let's take a look. Choose one, yeah. Uh, choose one handcuffs once per round after you damage disengage or are damaged by a non epic human monster you may defeat that monster well uh, mostly it's non human on the board right now motorcycles and item vehicle instead of normal move action you move up to three spaces and may spend one dollar to move one additional space hmm I think I will go for the motorcycle. Yes, we do need to have Tommy to be mobile now. Blasting around on his bike, killing monsters. His starting location is the observatory, so you'll be starting down here. And we will be heading with him towards this early uh, guardian I guess to try to take that out once and for all okay that's it for our new investigator let's start off round 11 and uh, why don't we just start with Tommy Muldoon don't we yes starting off with him he gonna move and since he has the motorcycle he fires it up and go one two three where this rear guardian engages him right away and he fires his shotgun the guardian has already been struck and has four health damage so he's got two health left leave it here and let's zoom in on Tommy Tommy Muldoon stands over the screaming Michael McLenn and tries to fence off this terrible thing that is standing in the black cave. Let's see, and the modifier was minus two strength, so that leaves Tommy with one die plus Becky, which gives him plus four dice. And yes, we do need two successes to strike this down. And he actually gets three. So he kills the Guardian, gets a remnant for that. Leave that with Tommy. And we put the earlier guardian back to the monster deck. Good job, Tommy. And we welcome you to the gang. Top notch. Now, good start. Let's see. We're going on. Do, do, do. Next will be Norman Withers. Here is Norman. His first 
what's he gonna do? First thing he's gonna do, he's gonna move and he's gonna move to the observatory. One, two, and he pays a dollar for a lost space. Three. So he will be there. And the next action will be to spend two clues from the scenario cheat to find one location where Arkham and Rie are connected. So we take two clues from the scenario sheet, we use those. And if you do take one card at random from the set aside cards and attach it to the corresponding neighborhood deck. Okay, that will be one of these fours. Okay, so I will shut my eyes and turn away my head and shuffle them a bit. Four cards, how many times can you shuffle four cards? And we take the top one. And it will be Rivertown. That's great, because we do have Thomas Muldoon in Rivertown. And it says after you resolve a Rivertown encounter, you may attempt to sever Arkham's connection with Rhea. Strength minus two. You may spend any number of remnants to roll that many additional dice. If you pause, flip this card. Okay, I will put this in front of the Rivertown district deck to remind me about that. Good job, Norman. And he also has got a clue, so he can do something with that also. <clears throat> that was the end of the action phase. Now we head into the monster phase. Each ready monster activates, usually by moving. We do have the ocean sign still here. It says it moves towards most doom. And this place has two doom, this has two doom, Thomas has got two, and there's two up in Arkham Advertiser. Whoopsie, that normally has slid away for me. So I rule it, it will be staying put there. And why? this terrible thing lurking up in Unvested Isle gives each investigator one horror damage. So one goes to Tommy Muldoon and one goes to Norman Withers. So that's okay. Well, it's not okay, but we have to do it. There's no more monsters left on the table. Now each exhaust the monsters, there's none. So we go into encounter phase and we start off with Tommy Muldoon in Rivertown. Take the front card. This could also be a clue, but it isn't. No. Black Cave then. Uh, you, you trace your fingers along the pictographs on the cave wall. Lore. Lore. What's this lore? This lore is two. Okay. Let's see if we can manage that. It's too crowded this table for me. Let's zoom in a bit. It is me, from the future. I discovered while editing that Tommy did not have a go at the... Um, Uh, the scenario solution card. He did have a Rivertown encounter, though he failed. So you should actually have a go with a strength roll here also. I know we did one later on, but we're gonna do one now also to see if we can manage to do something. And he does. So, as it says, um, I could have spent remnants also, but it didn't. If you pass, flip the card. A single emerald shard, shard about six feet in height, protrude, protrudes from the ground here, a strange hum reverberating from within it. As you behold it, something calls to you from its core, promising peace and happiness everlasting far beneath the rolling waves. 
you need only serve. You shake yourself free from its hold and wrench a pipe free from some nearby wreckage. You swing the pipe down on a solid arc and a shard shatters, bringing the persistent humming to a sudden end. Place one marker on the scenario sheet and return this card to the archive. Woo! So we're gonna do like that. A marker to the scenario sheet. So we're up at four. No, one. Sorry. One of four markers. Good job, Tommy. So, I will let you go on with further on in, into the round. I just wanted to add this. This is quite an important rule. Now Tommy Muldoon with his two dice does not manage that. Ah. If you fail your mind reels at the terrible history you see, suffer one horror. Ah <laughs> I put this on Becky. So, next encounter will be Norman Withers. And Norman Withers is in the observatory, which are in the Miskatonic University. They are up there. Yep, here we go. Jazz Mulligan, the head janitor, is cleaning up the observatory after hours. Observation. And our observation is four. So let's get the dice tower down here, and he's got four dice. The magnifying glass is only for research actions. And look at that, it's four successes. Why didn't Michael get that last round? Uh, if you pass, you stop him before it throws away a stack of papers detailing an astronomical breakthrough. You gain one remnant. Yay! Remnant for you, Norman Winters. Good job. That's it for the encounter phase. Then we're gonna head into the mythos phase, and we start off with Tommy Muldoon. We got the bag, and see what it turns out. Doom. A blank. Okay, let's pull the card in the back and see. Doom will be going to the unwisited isle. And that's okay. Well, there's a big monster there, but it's it's not that bad. There's none from there. None there from before, so that's okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Was a gun, and we pull out for Norman Withers. We're gonna pull out a headline. Ooh, I don't like headlines. And another headline. Yes, Norman reads the paper two times. Don't do that, Norman. Miskatonic Museum mystery. Fitting enough. Item stolen from rare exhibit. Police stumped. Crazed curator calls curious cursed. By A. Wong, Associated Press, Arkham, Massachusetts. Headline: Tests test mind uh, will. I'm sorry, and resolve the effect based on your test result. Okay, let's do that. And his will is. Oh, it's four. That's great. Let's take those four successes. We got lost dice and Z and he gets nothing. <laughs> uh, any re-rolls? Any re-rolls? No. Well we could lose the focus token. Eh nah. Zero. You become cursed. Ah. Ah. Oh yes. Curse condition goes to Norman. Why resolving a test? Only sixes counts as a successes. After you pass a test, discard this card. 
if you would become blessed this card this card is dead so he's now cursed and he's got a dark pact going hmm that was the first headline yay let's do number two put this in the back face up let's see so-called pharaoh speaks in cambridge Technological demonstration, Egyptian Niara Thotep Masters Uncanny Science by A. Wong, Assisted Press, Boston, Massachusetts. Headline, you suffer three damage and three horror unless you gain a dark pack condition. Well, um, <laughs> he's already got a dark pack condition, so he has to suffer three damage and three horror then. Isn't that the correct ruling? I would agree. Three damage, leaving him with two health. And three horror, bringing him down to two horror. So, whatever he stumbled upon, scared the uh, yitters out of him. Ooh, I don't like headlines. They are terrible. <coughs> there are still two tokens left in the bag, so we don't reset that yet. So, that's it for round 11. We're gonna dive straight into round 12. In round 12, um, we're gonna start off with. Um, let's start with Tommy Muldoon again. Start with, yeah. Let's do Tommy Muldoon. Um, First thing he's gonna do, he's gonna focus, and he's gonna focus his lore because of those inscribed inscriptions he was touching in the black cave. And the second thing he's gonna do, he's gonna try to get rid of the, the doom there. So he's gonna do a ward action. So let's zoom in on Tommy and see if he can manage. Tommy's lore is then three. We could do with two successes now, Tommy. Well, he gets one. We remove one doom. It's better than nothing, I guess. And that's it for Tommy. And we go to Norman Withers in the observatory. Here's Norman. <clears throat> His first action will be a focus. And he's gonna focus his lore also. So he's at his focus limit now. With one extra in observation, one extra in lore. His second action will be a research action. He's gonna try to research this clue he's got. And see if we can put that on the scenario sheet. And his lore is then four, and he's cursed, so we're gonna be rolling red dice. Where only six is counts. And he doesn't get any. Now, the uh, question is uh, shall I re roll? Shall I try that? Yeah. I'm gonna use his. Uh, why, why did I use lore? Well, uh, observation, I mean. He's gonna use his observation focus token and try to roll one of the fours to a six. Oh, Norman. <laughs> ah, yes. You got it. You got it, Norman. So, this goes to the scenario cheat and. He gets rid of this curse, cause after you pass a test, discard this. We wave bye bye to the cursed and the red dice. Great stuff. So that's Norman done. Both actions. Now for the monster face, we do have this. Ocean sign down in uh, Ord Library for uh, still, and he will be staying put. 
because it's a tie between size building, all library and Arkham Advertiser. So he's going to be staying there. I can send him up towards Arkham Advertiser, but don't, I don't see the need for it. Only need could be that I want to get rid of the Doom with Norman. But, well, we have to see. We, we, we will keep it put. But, however, the Servitor of Rulia is going to spread his terrible, terrible malice. And Muldoon will get a hit. And Norman Withers will get a hit. And this time we will put the sanity on his precious memento instead of on himself. That's it for the monsters. Then we're gonna do the encounter phase and we're gonna start off with Tommy Muldoon. So let's head up to Tommy. Tommy is still in Rivertown. We're gonna dig out the top card of the Rivertown and to turn it over and it's a clue this time. Yes, and he's in Black Cave. So that's good. The rain has washed away the dirt and revealed a once buried object. You gain one curio item. Hmm. What kind of curio item do we have here? We have Otherworld Codex. You get plus three as part of an ward action. That's not bad. We may be needing this to ward. Or the Lucky Cigarette Case. Once per round you may add one to the result of one die while restoring a test. I, I think I will go for the lucky cigarette case. Yes, let's go with that. And let's turn over a new card in the display. This time it will be... Oh, it's the pocket watch. This is absolutely marvelous item. You may perform one additional action during your turn. So we have three actions if you get that. And it's six dollars to buy. So we have the shotgun I need and the pocket watch I need. Both are six dollars. Oh well, let's read on. You search the area for anything else that might have surfaced. Hmm, observation. I think his observation is quite good. Let's see. He's a cop. Well, he's got three. And he does have his lucky cigarette case this time. And he might be needing it. So once per round you may add one to the result of one die. So let's add one to this and put it to a five. So it's a success. So he pauses and he discovers a cluster of massive piskin eggs when the tide is at its lowest. You gain one clue from your neighborhood. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Clue. And this will go to... Oh, check this out. It's, it has got two doom on it. Ugh. So it's the general store. That is the unstable place from now on. That's it for Tommy. Great stuff. Let's join up with Norman Withers and see what he can conjure. Norman is in the observatory still. Observatory? Yes. Uh, so, Norman. Sorry, bobbing a bit to and fro there. <laughs> Miskatonic University and the observatory. A group of students finds you waving a set of photographs from the telescope. You know weird stuff, they say. What do you think? Lore. Lore. His lore is four. And he's no longer cursed. And he doesn't manage it. Norman! What are you doing to us? Ah. I'm gonna spend the lore focus tokens to try to reroll one of those dice. Come on! Nope. Still nothing. Nada. Silch. Uh, if you pause, blah blah blah. If you fail, you conclude it's a smudge on the lens. <laughs> it's nothing. It's just a smudge. 
Could be an elder one or a god approaching earth. No worries. It's just a smudge. Okay, that's the encounter phase done. And we're gonna pull out Mythos for Tommy. See? It's a doom. And a clue. Yeah, well, we can do with that. Let's see, the doom will be going to downtown. And the Independence Square. That's no good news for us. There's an anomaly up there. That means this Doom will go to the scenario cheat. Bringing the Doom to 6. Oh, that's not good. This goes to discard pile. Independence Square is now the unstable place. Next up is the clue. I'll pull up the front card. And it's yet another river town so we put a clue in river town and take the top two cards from river town and shuffle them together with the clue there you go now i have to reset the mythos bag because we have pulled all the counters out of it. The normal gets the first bag to pull from. Let's hope for two blanks, don't we? One blank. Great stuff. <laughs> Can you do another? It's another blank. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Yay! Woo! Mojo. <laughs> the T-Man Mojo. Can't believe it. Watch my movies. <laughs> oh, that's... If I hadn't said it, grey. I pulled a grey. Wow. So, that's it for round 12. Um, do we have a chance? Mm, I doubt it. But I'm gonna stick with it to the end and see it through. Either we burn and crash, or we kill the sucker and win. So let's at least try. This is round 12 finished, and um, I will be uploading this really soon. I will be straight back again with round 13, 14, and 15. I think we're going to do three rounds. It seems like a good time marker for my videos for this gameplay. Hope you enjoy it and uh, if you see any mistakes or you have suggestions or you just want to state your opinion it's allowed leave some thumbs up and comments we do like those that's it for me be seeing you again bye